We have 15 kilowatts of certified lithium batteries aboard. That's more than a thousand amps at 12 volts. And we paid about a thousand euros for it. If we wanted to buy the same amount of power from Battleborn, that would be $8,000. From Masterbolt, $13,000. And if it comes directly from the boat manufacturer, like Albert Grassi, that's $40,000. It's 42 grand for lithium batteries. I feel like I overpaid. That's ridiculous. I know that once you put a sticker that says Marine on it, it will become immediately more expensive. But this, this is basically a scam at this point. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get lithium batteries at a fair price, what you need to know about them, and what to avoid, like factory rejects and uncertified battery cells, as well as what management systems you can use that can even integrate with Victron. No affiliations, no sponsors, no links for you to click. I have nothing to do with these companies. This is Starry Night, a courageous plucky sailboat who has only one dream, to sail around the world and have lots of adventures. No, 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 not like that. It's around the world, not through it. But not everything was going to plan. Starry Night was abandoned on the heart for 12 full years. But one day, he found us. My name is Paulo, and this is Katerina, and these are our two very overactive kids. After a crazy amount of work, Starry Night is once again ready to sail the oceans. So sit back, relax, and join us in this adventure, and we will all find out together where Starry Night will end up next. You're an intelligent person, I know that because you clicked on this video. So I'm going to go through this like quite quickly because I don't want to waste anybody's time. How do these big manufacturers, these brands, justify the price that they ask for their batteries? Now first, they tell you they have a super spiffy box. Well, boxes are not that expensive, and you can make your own. Next, they tell you that their system allows you to do something special, like integration with Victron, uh, an app. Well, the thing is, you can do that yourself. You can easily get a BMS that connects to your Victron system, controls the temperature of, of the battery and doesn't charge if it's too cold. They can, can connect to a heating pad so you can heat up your battery. You can do all of this. So this is no justification for the price that they're asking. And even better, if something goes wrong with this battery management system, you know exactly what it is and you can get a replacement. Try doing that with a battery that's sealed. You have no access to what's inside and if it stops working, it stops working. More on that later. When we get to the battery management system, we'll talk about it. The truth is that inside of these batteries, what you're gonna find are cells, just like this one. So let's say you have a 100 amp cell, you put four of them together and you have a 100 amp 12 volt battery. You put eight of them together and you have a 24 volt 100 amp battery and so on. It's very simple. So here's the secret. To get the best value for money, you buy the cells, not a complete battery. More on where to buy later. Now that you got the cells, you need the BMS. You need to buy a battery monitor system because you don't want to charge the battery too much or let it go too low because that will damage the cells. Arguably, the most important job of the BMS is to keep the cells balanced because as you charge the cells, they get unbalanced because the internal resistance of each cell is a little bit different. So over time, different amounts of charge, and this leads to a problem. The job of the BMS is to balance the amount of power inside each cell. And there are two ways it can do this. The bad BMS will do it resistively, and that's called a passive BMS. What it does is it gets a little bit of power out of one of the cells and it throws it away. And then you have an active BMS, which takes power from one cell that has more power and puts that power into the cell that has least power. And therefore it equalizes more efficiently. One of the good BMSs that you can use that's been out forever and it's tried and tested, it's the JK BMS. You can find it everywhere. They sell it everywhere and there is a ton of info online about how to use them, how to program them. They have an app. So that's the ones we use. We have two of them because we have two banks and it's been working flawlessly so far. As BMSs go, I don't think you can go wrong with a JK BMS. It's been around forever. 
This specific BMS even comes with communication like CAN and RS-485 so you can connect to the Victron system or a computer or whatever you need to. We can even see our battery status on our chart plotters, which is great. Which batteries should you stay away from? That would be any battery that you cannot check the certification. Well, what I mean by this is, on the top of a cell, there's a QR code and you introduce this code into a website. There are a bunch of them online, just Google and it will tell you where the cell was manufactured, if it's, it passed its tests, if it's certified, what power does it have, a whole bunch of information. Any battery that you buy from Amazon and it's like very cheap, most likely is composed of third-rate cells or factory rejects. Because when a factory makes these cells, not 100% of them are working, are good. Some do not get the power, the, the, the amount of amps they are supposed to have. Others have too large of internal resistance. And so they can't sell them as grade A batteries and certify them for EV use. So what they do is they sell them to another company that buys in bulk very cheap and then makes very cheap like batteries and sells them on Amazon for cheap and everything is, everything is cheap about them. The problem normally with these batteries is that the uh, battery management system sucks and the cells are not paired. They don't have exactly the same internal resistance. So the, the battery management system is always fighting and you end up having maybe a bad experience. However, many people have had good experience with Amazon batteries. So I'm not saying they're all bad. You should check for yourself. The, the thing is, it doesn't even matter because if you buy the cells themselves, it gets cheaper than you can buy them from Amazon. We got our batteries from this website. No affiliation. I don't know who these guys are. We just bought the batteries there. And we have friends who bought the batteries there as well. And so far they have been, they've been good. But as you can see here, you can buy 16 cells of 280 amps and it costs you like 950 euros. That's 15 kilowatts of power, almost. So yeah, that's where we got our batteries from. But shop around, you might find it cheaper. Just make sure you don't get scammed out there. And the BMS, you can get the BMS for about 80 bucks. They sell them everywhere. Just search for JK BMS. Uh, do a little bit of, uh, you know, YouTubing to see which JK BMS is the best for you and go from there. Anyway, uh, that's what I had to say. It's ridiculous that you can buy these cells because these are the exact same cells inside a Halberg Rassi um, made battery. They are certified EV. They are good cells, but they do not cost 40,000 euros to, for, for a battery. Anyway, that's all. Cheers.